Well, welcome to the Huskies Hockey Insider Podcast. I'm Mick Adam from the Rink Live, and I'm very happy to be joined by St. Cloud State Captain Spencer Meyer. Spencer, uh, how are you doing today? It's warm out today, huh? It's warm out today, yeah. The last few days, uh, or I'm doing good, thanks. Um, but the last few days, um, it's been kind of the weather where you wake up to go to the rink and you put a sweatshirt on and then you leave the rink and it's and it's hot again. So it's getting to be that, that time of year again. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, you guys have uh, obviously had been having some some captain's practices. School has been underway now for, geez, about a month already. So, I mean, you guys are, are getting to know each other and, and that sort of thing. Uh, just kind of give us a, a little flavor, I guess, for for how things have been going and, and uh, what it's been like uh, just getting this group back out on the ice. Yeah, it's been really good. Um, it's been so fun to get the guy back together and – start going um the fans we got a new you know it's good to have a locker room you know it brings a new energy to it uh, um you, you know uh call up new characters for the fans and, and uh, stuff like that so uh it, it, it's just been really fun to have some new blood in there some new en en energy and uh i'm really excited for the year because we uh look good right now mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, well, I know. Uh, you know, a few weeks ago, you guys had the uh, the, the pro camp, uh, so you, you got you got a whole bunch of uh, you know guys playing in the NHL, the AHL. Some some guys actually playing overseas were were on campus for for a week. Uh, you know, for, for you guys, uh, what, what's it like kind of having all those alums out there? Not only out there, not only on campus, but I mean, being on the ice with you guys. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I love that week, and I love how we started doing that. I think we started that last year, the year before. Correct me if I'm wrong, but um, it's just so fun. Uh, and I've, you know, was fortunate enough to play with most of them, uh, so it's fun to see them uh, uh, again and get to say hi. And um, you know, they just bring another aspect to the practice and stuff like that. And they're all, you know, they're all, you know, great guys, and they all are will willing to help. And it's just fun to see to see them out there and you know know that they were in our our shoes before and you know it's it, it, it's just something to strive for for sure yeah i would imagine just even even being around them uh you know being out on the ice with them you know i, I know you guys do some scrimmaging and stuff i mean obviously people are not trying to hurt each other out there but right. but, yeah. but, but but at the same time uh you, you know i would imagine there's there's some things that that you pick up you know just from from guys who have, who have played at that next level huh Oh yeah, for sure. Just, you know, little things like, you know, the communication piece and, you know, just doing some little stick fakes, you know, and all those things, you know, all the, all those pro guys are there and they're just willing to help us. And they, you know, tell us like, Hey, try this or try that, you know? So it's fun to have those guys, the, the, those guys out there. And um, it's just, like I said, they're all, you know, I think it comes with our culture, but they're all such great guys. And um, it's just fun to have them out there to help us as as well and it picks up the pace of our practice too to get us uh ready for the season as well uh you, you're, you're speaking of, of of the culture and speaking of which i mean as, as the captain of this team the, the, the there uh, there are a number of new, new faces uh with this team there are 10 new players uh compared to last season's roster on on this team uh you know as, as a leadership group you you have that many new guys uh coming in uh what are things i guess that you know maybe either conversations that you guys have had with these new guys or or just things that you you, you try to do to to help them out i guess help them get acclimated right yeah i mean i think you know that's a great question but i think it's a lead a lead a leader and a leadership group it's just you know making sure that you know that they're on the same page as, 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 as we are, because like, you know, Lars is not going to recruit a kid who's not willing to work hard and, you know, wants to do the right things. So we know that they're here for the right reason. We just have to make sure that they're on the same page and know that, you know, the, you know, I, when I was a freshman, lower I can back, it was, you know, I knew I could always ask Jimmy or Jack or Sean or, or John, or all the older guys i i knew i could ask them a question you know and 
So it's just making sure that the younger guys know like, Hey, if you don't know what to do, or if you don't know some, you know, feel free to ask, you know, cause that's, that's who we are. You know, we want to get better every day. So we want everyone on the same page. And so it's just as a leadership group, we just want to make sure that they all know like, Hey, we're here for you. If you have any, anything that you need, let us know. We can help uh, help you out. And, you know, just making sure that they know that, yeah, they're young and it's a seven, seven guys are freshmen, but no, just making sure that they know that, you know, they're here for a, re, a reason because they're a very good high, a very good hockey player. So, um, you know, just making sure that they know that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Grant Crookshank is is a guy you you know you speak of bring, of leaders and and, and stuff. Uh, Grant Crookshank was was a captain at Colorado College a couple seasons ago. Uh, you oh. know he spent last season with the Gophers. Obviously now he's uh, with you guys. Uh, uh, what, what's it like? You know, just kind of getting to know Grant and and having him around on this team. Yeah, he's a really good guy. You know, uh, making a little joke. I never thought I would ever play with the Gopher in my life. Um, you know, I could grow up, grow up, grow up as a Saint, as a Saint Cloud fan, you know, we don't, we, uh, did not like those guys very much, but no, I, I know some guys on their team and they're good. They're good guys too. But, um, it, you know, he's a great guy, great guy. He came in right away. Um, and he, you know, he, he's a leader. You can just tell, you know, he's, he's one of, he's one of those guys that wants to win. Uh, yeah. And he's here for the right reasons and he wants to be a part of a winning culture you know and you know that's why he's here and um he's just it's hard to explain but you know when you you just see someone um and you can just tell like yep they're a leader there's someone that's going to really help us in the the room so we're so we're we're so glad that he's here yeah uh another uh new guy uh is is a is a defenseman uh a guy from co- coming from from union uh dylan anhorn uh being a defenseman i know you, you know you guys obviously uh, start to kind of group together and stuff and and, and oh. get to know one another when you look at him as as a player and and, and gotten to know him a little bit uh what, what, what's dylan like out there he's great he's awesome he's just like a like grant he's just like grant um he's a great person um and he's a great player too you know he's he's very he's mobile with the puck um he's got a good shot he's got good hands um and he's you know he's gonna be great for us he's gonna be a great piece to our back and that's already very good and um you know it's 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 gonna be a fun year because we got a good back end and we got some forwards that, that can score and um, I'm just really I- I- excited for it. And, um, he's, it's, you know, it's sometimes when you ask me these questions, you're probably like, gosh, Spence just says the same <laughs> thing every time. But like with all these guys, it's like, there's not a bad guy in the, in the room, you know, like he's, he's such a good guy and, um, he's, he's funny and, uh, he, he just brings, bring some more energy to the room and he's a great player too. So it's just, it's perfect. Yeah. Uh, you know, two other guys, uh, you know, that, that are, are new on defense are Mason Reiners and, and, and Cooper Wiley. Those are two guys that were, uh, that were captains uh, down in Waterloo this past season. Uh, you know, when you look at them on the ice, uh, you know, describe them, I guess, a little bit as player Spencer, you know, what, what, what kind of things will, will those two guys kind of bring to your, your lineup? Uh, yeah, as I mean, first first thoughts are, you know, uh, Cooper Wiley is a little more offensive than Mason is, mm-hmm. um, but you know they're both Mason is a very solid D man. You know he's not he's not going to get beat very much, um, and then uh, you have Cooper who is you know he's good with the puck. He can skate, and um, you know he's going to be very good for us this year and. Um, in the next years to follow, you know, both, both those guys are going to be a huge part of our program for the years to come. Um, and I'm just excited to see what they can do this year, but yeah, so far, um, Mason is a shut, a shutdown D from what I can see. And, you know, Cooper has a little bit more offensive side to him, but they're both very good. And, um, they're going to be really good for us for the years to come. And, and this year, uh, you know, a lot, a lot of, uh, you know, which guy, well, a good chunk of, of of the guys that moved on were were guys who were, who were playing forward last season. 
you know, as a defensive group, I mean, do, do, do you see this? I, I don't know. I mean, everybody wants to lead or whatever, but I mean, you know, is this team really going to have to be kind of particularly early on, you know, kind of be based uh, from the back, you know, from the back end and, and kind of move forward? Yeah, I mean, I think um, the way our coaching staff works and, you know, just our team has been going for the past few years, you know, I think the less time you can play defense leads to more offense, right? And that requires you to have a good defensive zone structure um, and be able to kill plays fast and get up the ranks so you have more time on the offense. If you're spending, you know, 45 seconds in your own zone, um, you're not going to have much juice to go on the offense. So, you know, I think that's a really big key for us. And I think, you know, every year we try and focus on that, budget, you know, a bit because we have a lot of skilled forwards and, and a, a lot of fast forwards. Um, so the faster we can get them the puck and uh, we can play in the o, the o, the o zone, uh, the, be the, the better off we're going to be. And, um, yeah, I think, you know, just to answer your question, it's, you know, you always want to have a good decor, you know, the old saying, uh, D defense wins championships, you know, I mean, I, I, I uh, uh, agree with that, because, you know, you gotta, like I said, the quicker you can get the puck out of your defensive zone, the more you can play on offense and, and uh, score uh, and score some goals. So uh, how strange does it feel to not have david rennick around <laughs> yeah really strange yeah yeah he's been around my whole career here and um i wish him the best and uh he was a great goalie but i tell you what nick uh our goalies right now look really good so i'm ex excited for that and they just you know there's a new energy in town you know with the transfer uh don bassey and then the front and be uh, it's going to be a great year and Jax looks really good right now um, so there's going to be good competition with the goalie which there's good competition with the D there's good competition with the forwards which makes a team that much better because they're always trying to you know compete for a spot and uh, you know it always helps it helps when your teammates can push yourself yeah uh yeah i've i've heard that jackson has really looked uh, good here in the in, in the early going uh you know when 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 jackson is is playing well what what are things that uh you know are his strengths i guess as a as a goalie spencer yeah that's a tough question because i'm going to i'm sorry for these technical terms cuz no, okay i'm not a goalie coach but when i see him as on as a player aspect he's just locked in like it's hard to explain, but like when he's saving pucks, you know, like when a shot is on, it's like he's he's seeing it, he's he's catching it, and there's no rebound. There's no re rebound at all. And you know, sometimes in practice, he'll make a save, and it's like, holy cow, how do you save that? You know. Uh, so when he's on, I just think you can tell like he's putting pucks in the corner. He's you know, goblin pucks up and it seems like you can't get one past them when he's on. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, and, I, I, and I'm sure you get this question constantly, you know, I mean, how are you, how are you guys, <laughs> how is St. Cloud State going to be this year? I'm, I'm, I'm hearing this every time I turn around from, from, from hockey yeah. people and stuff. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I, I think the, the thing that I, I look at, uh, you know, I just had to fill out a ballot, you know, to pick, uh, you know, where I've, pick teams to to finish i you know yeah. i think uh you know obviously I mean, with, with denver being the defending national champs and with what they've got coming back i mean i i think you know they've they're pretty much everybody's kind of preseason pick uh you know to, to to win the conference but you know and then north dakota i mean it, north dakota's a defending conference champ so i mean yeah. you, you you kind of expect them to be there every year but then i i really think uh it's kind of wide open. I don't know. Uh, do you guys kind of get that same feeling or? Yeah. I mean, to be honest with you, we, I mean, wherever we fall in the preseason ranks, you know, that's, you know, cool, whatever. It doesn't matter to us. We just care about where, where we are at the end. And um, we're going to be right there. That'll tell you, you know, um, we're going to be right there at the top. We're going to be competing for the conference championship. Um, and then hopefully the nat, uh, national championship as well. You know, that's our, that's our goal. And, uh, you know, we're going to be a really good team. Is it going to be all 
rainbows. No, it's, you know, every good team goes through ups and downs in the year. And, um, you know, it's going to be a really fun year and we're going to be really good. Um, you know, this, you know, preseason rankings, if, you know, people think Denver, people think North Dakota, that, that, that's fine, but that just adds fuel to the fire for us. Um, and like I said, all that matters to us is what, ha what happens in the end. And, you know, as long as every day we're getting, we're getting better to reach that goal. That's all that matters. That's, that, that's all that matters to us. Yeah. Uh, Grant Deshaun is, is one of the freshmen in, uh, in, in, in camp. I would imagine you've, you've seen him for, for quite a few years now. Uh, yeah. you know, does it, does it seems strange now to kind of have him, uh, on the team after, you know, kind of knowing him through, through, uh, through Jack, uh, you know, throughout the years. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it's funny. Cause you know, obviously playing with Jack, Jack for a few years and now I got Grant um you know you can definitely see some they some yeah there it is oops to see how similar they are you know and I, I get that grants a forward and jack was a d-man but you know they're they're kind of the same person <laughs> well there you know i've, I've seen I've, I've seen grant play a little bit in in junior yeah. hockey and and there's uh there's definitely uh some of that some of that oh, yeah. fire uh oh yeah notice right away with him for sure absolutely for sure for sure yeah. What, uh, you know, uh, talking about Grant, uh, you know, being one of the forwards, uh, you know, obviously, I mean, you, you know, one, one of the things, uh, you know, from last season is, you know, you lost a number of guys that have been kind of staples of, of being very productive uh, offensive players. You know, I'm thinking of, I'm, I don't mean to lean in, leave anybody out or whatever, but right, Easton yeah. Brodzinski and Kevin Fitzgerald and uh, 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 Nolan Walker, you know, quickly come to mind as guys that uh, have obviously been extremely productive guys. Uh, when, when you look at this, uh, th this freshman class, uh, you know, what strikes you, I guess, about, uh, about these, these young forwards and, uh, you know, what have you seen, I guess, out of those guys here in the early going? Yeah, I think I, you know, not to, I really like what I see, like it, it reminds me not to pump up our uh, our freshman class too much, at least the forwards, but it reminds me of when our class came in and you had Sam Hanches, you had Nolan Walker. Um, all those guys were, you know, putting pucks in the back of the net. Micah Miller, you know, obviously Mike is still here, but, you know, it reminds me of how effective, you know, those forwards were for our team that year. You know, yeah, were they maybe – our team was really good that year, but were they playing on the first, second line? Not all of them, but they were helping. Um, and that reminds me of what these guys are going to do for us. You know, they're going to really help our team out and be a, be a part of the scoring and, and help and help us score more for sure. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, Nick Pierre, uh, or Nick Pierre, Nick Perbix uh, obviously has, has moved on. So, I mean, that's kind of, creating a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a change too. I mean, to, to, uh, you know, you guys on the power play, you spend time on the power play. Uh, Jack is obviously somebody who's, who's spent a lot of uh, power play time, uh, you know, with you guys last season. Uh, you know, when, when you look at him, you know, this season, maybe at this point versus last season, when you look at Jack, you know, are there, are there some differences or are there some things that you noticed that maybe have improved or, 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 or different things? Yeah, I mean, I think it comes with every, you know, you're a freshman and then you're a sophomore and it's kind of like, you know, take a deep breath. I've done this before, play your game, you know, now, you know, you can do it, you know? So now, you know, that game is going to go to the next level because you have that much more confidence. And that's the big, that's the biggest thing I see with Jack right now is that he's got way more confidence. Um, he's a really good player always has been but now when you combine that with confidence um he's he's gonna be really good for us and 
I'm excited to, to hopefully work with him on the power play and you know have have our unit our u- unit working to get to, together again and um it's uh yeah he's he's playing with a lot of confidence right at, right now and he looks really good yeah I, you know what it's interesting with with him because you know I, I think sometimes when you know people hear oh he's a, he's a second round draft pick uh, that that you're you're expecting a lot of flash and and you know maybe you know blazing speed. He's he's a very good skater. Don't don't yeah. misread what I'm what I'm saying or whatever. But oh, yeah, I know. but but he's he's a guy that it's almost like a lot of um you, you have to almost understand the game really well to to see yeah. how how good a player he is. Do, right. do, do you agree with that a little bit or? Oh, for sure. I mean, so many. You know, there's a lot of fans out there that. I'm glad they're fans, but we can all be honest. Some fans don't really know much about, you know, how the process of de- de- developing works. You know what I mean? Like you got to be patient. Um, Jack is a very good player and you have to understand that he's still very young. Uh, he's a, a draft pick for a reason. He's very good. Um, and he's going to develop into the player that, you know, he's going to be in the NHL for a long time. And in, in, in my opinion, and, uh, some people think, like you said, it's going to happen, you know, right away, mm-hmm. you know, it's like, was he really good last year? Yeah. But it's, you know, that's why you have four years in, in college to, de- to de- develop and, you know, become that dominant player. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Be- because it's almost like uh, he-, he makes, here's the deal. It- it- this is the best way I can describe it. He-, he makes the right plays so quickly that you don't even notice them a lot of the time. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. You know, it, it, it's not like a great big long, long play or whatever, but it's sometimes yeah. it's just short and quick. And well, and- that's what D men, you know, that's what really good D men do. You know, they make the plays that they need to make, uh, and then the offensive D men, um, like him, like myself, like Perbs, you know, they, you know, they contribute to the offense, but most of the time it's not an end to end rush, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, it's going to, you're going to make that first play and you're going to join the rush. And if there's a chance to be that late wave and create a scoring chance, yeah. But most of the time as D men, you know, you're not going to do that end to end stuff where people are like, Holy cow, you know? Uh, um, but it's, you know, like, you, like you said, yeah, he makes the right plays, uh, at the right time and, you know, breaking a puck out, it's not always flashy to the fans, uh, so I think that's what people, you know, sometimes need to understand is, you know, he's making the right plays and they're not always going to be flashy. They don't have to be flashy. That's right. Uh, this past summer, uh, you, you got an opportunity to, to, you've worked a lot of hockey camps. I've, 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 my sons have been at camps that, that you, <laughs> uh, you've worked uh, over the last few years. Uh, th- this is a, uh, uh, your first time actually running a hockey camp, you got a chance to do that. Uh, what was that experience like? And uh, about how many kids were you able to kind of help out over the summer, Spencer? Yeah, I think I had like 65 kids in my camp, 60, 65 kids in my camp, and um, it went really well, Mick. It was an ab- absolute blast. I love being able to work with the kids and kind of give back to the community. Um, kind of, you know the skills that I've learned from the coaches in my life and just kind of, you know, give them an opportunity for a week to learn a few things and most importantly, have fun. You know, I, they all came and came into the rink in the morning. Uh, and for the most part, they all left with a smile on their face and that's all that matters to me, you know, and, uh, as long as they had the time of their life and they learned a thing or two, that's a success for me. And, uh, I have to give a shout out to all my coaches, uh, all my coaches were uh, actually are on the team. Uh, I had Joe, Joe Molinar, Kyler Kupka, um, Zach Okabe, Micah Miller, Chase Brand, um, Ryan Roseboro, uh, Josh Ludke. Um, I had so many of the guys who just helped out and just made this thing a success. It was, it was, it was amazing. And, you know, without those, without those guys that wouldn't, have been nearly as successful so um it just went really well and it was really fun and i'm looking forward to hopefully make this a year a year a yearly thing and um it was it was really good and i just want to thank the sartell uh, 
Shields Athletic Complex. It's weird saying that because when I was growing up, it was always just Burnix. Um, <laughs> but Todd over there, the rink manager, was great for us, and uh, it was it was perfect because they have that turf on one side, mm -hmm. uh, then the ice on, on 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 the other, so kids could come on the ice and then go to dry land and and vice versa. So it it went it went really well, and um, I kind of made this joke to the parents, but. Um, the coaches might've had more fun than the kids, you know, <laughs> it, was, it was a lot of fun. That's a good sign. Yeah. Uh, you, you talk about giving back, uh, you know, I, I, I'm, I was over, uh, I'm working on a story on the, the little wild learn, learn to play program. And, and uh, that's taking place uh, in Sartell here in the next month that uh, it's for uh, kids who are, well, most of them I think are around five years old yep. and um, uh, just starting out. And, uh I, that almost looked like you guys might have been having more fun than those kids as well oh yeah for sure for sure yeah uh that got started last monday and you're right it goes i think there's three more of them um and uh it was, it was a blast there's a sign up sheet in our locker room and i just put my name on for all four weeks <laughs> um and a, a few of the other, other guys did too and um it, it, it's a blast you know those those kids are some have been on the ice a few times some this is their first time so it's fun to see their faces when they get to step on the ice and um it's just it's fun to grow the game because when i was growing up you know in sartell it, it wasn't really much like that and you know we didn't really have a ton of kids playing hockey back then there was definitely enough there wasn't uh but there wasn't a ton and now going back it just seems like there's you know a ton of them and it's just cool to see how the great the game is growing and it's cool to have that little, little wild program right there in Sartell and it's, it's just fun to be out there and kind of give back to the kids and at that age you're not really working on stick handling or shooting you're just you know trying to have some fun out there so it's it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty fun yeah the the uh, the, the thing that struck me and i i've I think this is my ninth year going into youth hockey coaching. Uh, the thing that struck struck me as I'm watching you guys kind of interact with them is, is, is you know, just the pure the pure joy of it. You know, and you know, forget you know what all is going on. They're just having a blast, just even having the gear on and just right. being on the ice. Exactly. And, and and that's almost I don't know. It, it was kind of infectious to me. I mean, it was, yeah. it was kind of welcoming. I would. Yeah. I don't know if you had the same experience or not. No, that's a good way to put it. Cause like, no matter what's even for me, no matter what's going on in my life or what's going on at the Herb Brooks national hockey center, you know, with my hot, my hockey game or, you know, whatever kind of schooling's going on on on, on Monday nights at six 15, I know that I'm going to go help the kids. Uh, and for that hour, it doesn't matter what's going on with me or whatever. It's all, all that matters is, you know, trying to make those kids have the best hour of their life that they can. And, you know, being able to see the smiles on their faces and the laughs and, you know, when a kid falls down, you're like, Oh, are you okay? And then they start laughing. It's like, okay, yeah, this is, this is why you love the game. You know, it kind of brings you back to why you really love the game of hockey. Yeah. And, and, and I, and, it's been a while since I've coached at that level. And, and just like, there were a couple of kids that skated over to me and like talked to me or whatever. And, yeah. and just the conversations with them oh, yes. are, are, are precious. <laughs> I, I wish I don't have the technology, but there's some videos online of, you know, little mites that are mic'd up for a practice and they're just hilarious. And I wish I could do that for my camp or, you know, this little wild program and just hear some of the some of the kids the stuff they say and the con the conversation it's just hilarious and i i don't even think they know that they're being funny but it's absolutely hilarious yeah, absolutely well spencer uh, thanks so much for for taking time as as always uh, I, I, you're always so uh, gracious and, and generous with your time and i and i greatly appreciate it uh wish you all the best of health and uh wish you guys uh, all, all kinds of success here this this fall Perfect. Thanks, Mick. And hopefully this is not the last time I get to talk to you. And mm -hmm. like you said, anytime you need something, feel free to ask me. And um, yeah, it's always a blast to talk with you, Mick. And you're always great to have to have around the, uh, uh, around the rink. And um, yeah, so just thank you too. And uh, I hope you have a great rest of the day.
All right. Awesome. This has been the Huskies Hockey Insider Podcast. I'm McHatton with the with the Rink Live. Please check out all of our great content here on the website.